Hey you guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out SavvyNaturalista.com for all your skincare needs, Miracle Glow Oil as well as Laramar Elixir. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure if you would like to keep up with me, your host, you're following me on all my social media sites. And in this episode of Skincare Spotlight, we will be talking about Tatcha's uh, Rice Enzyme Powder, the Deep Polish one. Now I will say they have four rice enzyme powders. I just decided to get the deep one because I've been having really bad oily skin lately. So I'm sort of going to just review the deep one. Uh, pretty much uh, from what I've seen online or on QVC with uh, the owner of Tatcha, Vicky, she says they pretty much do different things except the deep polish polish tends to have more they, uh, more enzymes to keep your face calm. I forgot the word she used, my bad, but she said it has more enzymes to keep your face a little more calmer, so they added uh, more ingredients to that one. They each have a variety of different ingredients, each polish, so yeah. So if you have gentle skin, they have one for gentle, then they have an original one, and then they have one for dry skin, then they have one for oily combination skin which I tend to lean on during the summer months and we already in summer here in the desert and then they have one for very sensitive skin now I will say that this is a great exfoliating powder so if you're looking for a manual exfoliation that is not really harsh on the skin you may want to try Tatcha's uh, rice powder I think it's wonderful you know rice in Japanese culture and you know around the world now well specifically here in America what rice water fermenting rice water is becoming really popular letting the rice soak and then what happens over time is the rice ferments and you get sort of this milky color sort of water and you put it on your hair and you let it sit for 20 minutes and you rinse it and it sort of gives you this long elasticity to the hair and that's what people are sort of of doing now and in Japanese culture they've been using rice water on their face as well as in their hair for years so you know Americans it may be new to us Americans but it's been something that has been going around for centuries so just to think of a nice manual exfoliation that is actually not too harsh on the skin so when it comes to manual exfoliation if you're used to using sugar crystals you know maybe coffee grounds whichever type salt crystals for your face you may want to try something a little bit different like rice powder and I think Tatcha has a wonderful rice powder that has papaya enzymes over the course of months that I've been using it I've noticed that my skin tone has become more even my face is brighter and my pores have visibly been smaller and I don't necessarily want to say it reduced the size of my pores but I will say I've noticed is that my pores are not as clogged as they normally would be with summer officially here in the desert I've noticed that my face is nice and skin my I've noticed that my face is nice and smooth and I even have a much brighter glow to my face like my face literally looks as bright and glowy as I did when I was pregnant <laughs> I mean, it's a really great polish. So the reason why I decided to use it at night is because I felt in the morning I would use way too much and I'm sort of busy in the morning. I'm go, go, go. So I decided, huh, maybe I should try it at night when I get to enjoy my skincare routine at night. I don't know for most of you, you know, nighttime is where you're settled, you settle down, you unwind and you want to spend a little more time on your skin to get it ready for the next day and to just help de-stress your skin and I noticed when using the Tatcha rice powder it just worked wonderful for me at night so when I would do my little ritual with my skincare routine at night the amount I used wasn't a half a teaspoon you guys know I got a big head and a big neck so I used the amount of the size of a nickel I would say about the size amount of a blueberry a little small blueberry maybe a little jumbo blueberry and then I would add a few drops and I would create a foam like that and still 
still, I bought it at the beginning of this year and it still lasts and I still have a lot left, you guys. So this lasts a long time, even for my big head and big uh, neck and big face all around. You know, it has lasted me a long time. With most exfoliations, you'll probably notice that you'll get some sort of redness or some sort of irritation to your skin, especially with manual exfoliations because you're using a large crystal, whether it's salt, sugar, walnut powder, uh, coffee grounds. If you're using those type of exfoliations for the skin, they can cause your skin to get red. They may be removing dead skin cells, but they do make your skin red. They're great. I'm not knocking them, but they do make your skin red and they will make your skin a little bit irritated no matter what skin tone you are. That's just how they are. The crystals are very large and they're very heavy. What I noticed about Tatcha's uh, rice powder or polishing rice powder is when you're exfoliating, it not not only removes dead skin cells but it's sort of polishing and refining your skin at the same time so as it's removing the dead skin cells it's giving you brighter and glowy skin like I mentioned in the beginning of the video so you're getting extra with Tatcha's rice powder I also want to say I felt that this was actually a wonderful makeup remover as well and I've been using it for the past few weeks as a makeup remover I've been doing something a little different with my skincare routine because I was reading Dr. Harold Lancer's uh, interview on the cut and because he recommends uh, exfoliating and polishing your skin before you cleanse it I decided to go ahead and start exfoliating first in my skincare routine and then cleansing my skin Dr. Harold Lanter recommends getting rid of all the dead skin cells off of your skin before you can even cleanse it because he wants the cleansers to penetrate your skin so I've been doing that for the past few weeks of just exfoliating first and then cleansing and I've noticed that my skin has been looking 10 times better, especially when using this polish at night as a ritual. I also want to say I'm really happy that they did not add a scent to this. Thank you so much, Tatcha, for not adding any heavy perfumes, any synthetic fragrances, any perfume, perfume to this powder because you know sometimes I feel when brands add scents or heavy scents to skincare items it could be a little off-putting for me and especially for people who are very sensitive to fragrances and it's a lot of people out there you may think it's just a little bit but it's a lot of us who are very sensitive to loud fragrances and even no matter how much we try to get our bodies immune to enjoying loud fragrances it's just it's just nothing you can do it's just too loud and just you just can't you can't handle it i've tried so many times you know how many bath and body candles i've literally burned in this house to try to get my you know my body and mind to like enjoy loud fragrances i just can't do it i cannot do it and i don't know why with that being said i am so happy that tatcha did not add any fragrances to this polishing rice powder i'm really happy about that now i just want to talk about now i just want to nitpick it just a little bit there are a few issues i have with the powder what i would have liked because i did pay 65 dollars for the powder i would have liked it to be like in a glass container i thought the packaging was beautiful i loved how it was wrapped in a rice paper scroll or a beautiful scroll i don't know if it was rice paper or not i thought it was beautiful you know it made me feel like i was in Japan y'all know I want to go to Japan so bad but I just felt like oh I was there it was really beautiful it's a wonderful experience in open Tatcha products with that being said I want a glass jar this is plastic I'm paying $65 you could at least give me a glass jar Tatcha really some glass Tatcha something with that being said I also want to talk about the pH a little bit with the deep polish specifically I don't know about the rest because I haven't used them I also want to mention that Tatcha does say that it is pH neutral so the polish is pH neutral however in the past people have said the polish is very high on the pH level I've seen a lot of tests where people 
have uh, said the polish is a little bit high on a pH level. If you want to Google pH is a big deal. For personally, for me, I wasn't worried about it. And the reason why is because Tasha recommends on the directions that you keep it on your face for 15 seconds. So, I mean, you don't have to sit there and say, oh my God, do I have to take it off my face? It's been 15 seconds. No, but they do recommend you just keep it on your face for 15 seconds and then you rinse it off. I do want to say this about the pH level though. It gave me sort of a squeaky clean feeling to my face. With that being said, if you have dry skin, they do have a dry skin version of the polish. So it may not give you that squeaky clean feeling that the deep polish does I had a squeaky clean feeling and that led me to believe okay the pH is a little bit high I'm not worried about it you know skin regenerates itself so it's not really an issue for me to sit here and be like oh my god my skin is burning something's happening to my skin but it will dry your skin out and give you a very squeaky clean feeling and if you don't like that feeling you may want to think like be a little bit uh, about the product with that being said what I've done to combat the squeaky clean feeling and actually be able to use the polish and enjoy it in my skincare routine slash ritual is I've actually used sleeping masks at night and then I layer them with some sort of oil so that's what I've been doing at night and then when I was using it in the morning I don't use it in the morning anymore because I felt like I wasted the product I mentioned that to you guys before but what I would do in the morning when I would get up and I would rinse the sleeping mask off my face, I used a moisturizer and I layer my moisturizer with Miracle Glow Oil or any type of oil you find useful for your skin. I use Miracle Glow Oil to layer uh, to layer and moisturize my skin. Many of you know I do live in the desert so I have to keep my skin very moisturized so it doesn't dry out. And I enjoyed the squeaky clean feeling for that reason specifically because I'm always layering my skin. I have a lot of oils. I'm creating so much sebum. So I need something that is going to help get rid of the dead skin cells. Give me that squeaky clean feeling for me to be able to layer my skin again with more oils and not create a lot of dead skin cells and a lot of rubbing like oils on your skin you know when you're piling on a lot of oils the way we do here in the desert you need to be able to exfoliate your skin and prepare your skin again for the next day so depending on what climate you live in depending on what region you live in in the world in america you know it may be off-putting to you especially if you have dry skin so i'm just going to mention that people have tested it and it ran very high on the ph level it was like a nine I wasn't worried about it because I layer my skin. I use a sleeping mask and oils. And for people who do want to try this, you may want to add more moisture at night after you use the Tatcha Rice Powder. However, with that being said, now it's pH neutral and pH neutral. She, they have said that on the website before I bought the powder. It said that it was pH neutral. So I just want to mention that. But I felt it still gave me the squeaky clean feeling and I've used it for since January. So, you know, that's here nor there. But I decided to mention that because I thought it was important for you guys to know if you really want to decide to buy it. All in all, I would recommend this product and I give it an 8 out of 10 and it gets Shandera stamp of approval with that being said i'm gonna go i really hope you enjoyed this episode of skincare spotlight with tatcha's publishing rice powder slash enzyme i keep calling it a rice powder but it's a rice enzyme powder with papaya enzymes honey papaya enzymes are really popular and y'all really need to check out papaya enzymes because i've been using them and taking them for a while so when Ta i found out tatcha had this i had to buy it so i'm so happy side note what are we in june now we're in June, right? And I've been using this since January. And it's still lasting me. So, you know, $65 It's not a best. It's a steal, if you ask me. With that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Skincare Spotlight. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out SavvyNaturalista.com for all your skincare needs. And I'll see you in our next episode of Skincare Spotlight. I love you so much. Bye, you guys.